30 second clip with the 30 second clip and posted it. Even even Timothy Bradley agreed with me. You know what I mean? Even Timothy Bradley agreed. What's up, big homie? <laughs> Welcome to the show. What's up, man? My man, how you doing? You doing, man? Hey, I'm just gonna say this. Everyone in the barbershop, if you ever see Brian Custard anywhere in the world, just walk up to him and tell him thank you. It don't gotta make sense to y'all. But it, it, and just it just DM me, said, man, I ran into Brian Cuss and I told him thank you. And I'm just gonna say thank you too. What's up? My oh, man. man. How you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling good, man. So, so let's work backwards a little bit. Did you watch the fight? You watched the oh, fight wow. in the hotel room last night? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Matter of fact, I was in his home state of Nebraska. I know, I know. Uh -huh. Flew home, got home in time to drop mm -hmm. my bag off, and it was it was starting. Oh, okay, and, and and tell me what you thought of it. Tell me what you thought of Crawford. No, I, I thought I thought he was good, man. And 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 honest, I mean, you know, I thought Kel Brook, you know, he kind of controlled the distance early on, but you know, he, Crawford's got that reach, and once he found his range, uh -huh. I mean, he he's 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 a beast, and um, I, I thought it was impressive, man. You know, listen, you know, I think that was one of the things uh, we talked about was did he consider Kel Brook an elite welterweight? You know, mm -hmm. because it's been a while since he's fought yeah. at that weight. Yeah. And uh, but you know, say what you want about Kell Brook, he he is a former champion. He's fought some some top guys, so th that's at least a credit to Bud getting getting him out of there as quickly as he did. Sure. Uh, and two, he's finally gotten a name on his on his resume at welterweight. Yeah. That's what he's been fiending for. Yes, I, I would agree that he got the name. And 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 I bet on Kell Brook. I bet two hundred dollars to win twenty three hundred dollars. I'm supposed to make that bet, right? Yeah. In my humble opinion, I'm, I just got to make make that bet. Right. And but the Kell Brook that was building up to the fight wasn't the Kell Brook that was inside that ring. That motherfucker got hit with a jab and said, "Make it look like Fred Sanford is." Oh, it's the big one. Oh, it's the big one. <laughs> man, he started doing the, the Icky Wood shuffle, man. I'm like, dude, it was a jab. It was a jab. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know? And yeah. uh, I, uh, but but I, I, I like the way he finished the show. Don't let this dude recover. Right. Don't get cute. Don't do all this Jerron in his stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. uh, uh, just finish the guy and, and get to the post-fight interview. He did a great job at that. And, and since... Uh, Errol Spence is the barometer. Shit, I'm like, if I'm Errol Spence, I'm licking my chops. You know, like I'm like, whoo, God, Gary, I can't get to this guy soon enough. You know what I mean? Because he's susceptible to the jab. In my humble opinion, I thought even though he switched from orthodox to softball, he still fought on the same line to me. Like it, it was no variances in terms of him half stepping. He was still there. He just moved one shoulder in front and one to the rear. Yeah. You know, in my opinion. So I I thought he he did a had a great fourth round, but Kel Brook gave us the blueprint, and so did I thought uh I don't know the guy's name. Fry Green Tomato. Uh what's his name? I don't know. No, I, I have he just lost. The guy he just beat. Who who uh you, who who did Crawford. Kel? Uh, yeah, Crawford. Who did he beat? Fry Green Tomato. What's that dude's name? He knocked him down, but they didn't call it. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the guy before Kell Brook, you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, the guy before Kell Brook, yeah. Yeah, that, that one, yeah. That, that name, yeah. I have no he idea. He fought him kind of straight, too, like, you know, and so, so that's kind of like the blueprint on, on Terrence Carr, but I like the dog in him, though. I like the dog in him. I like the dog in him. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. listen, it, once he has you hurt, yes. it's over. Right. It's right. over. It, wow. it, it, he ain't gonna he ain't gonna fool, fool around. He's not gonna be sitting up here, you know. No, he's he's coming after you. Yeah. Uh, and and without question, he's one of the best finishers. And, and you're right. I think you were really. That was the one thing I saw when he he had to switch because when he first started out, it, he was getting hit with that jab way too many times. And he was like, okay, let me let me go ahead and switch and mm -hmm. get on in there. And once he got on in there, and and listen, he caught Kel Brook coming in. Kel Brook was hitting him with that jab, and then he. Came in, leaned in a little bit too much, and, and yeah, man. They, 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 we saw Charlo do that. We saw Charlo hurt somebody with the jab. You know what I mean? And my man went into convulsions. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you got a good jab, you it uh -huh. can hurt you. Yeah. Uh, 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 before we continue, last stand podcast, man. How many home runs you gonna hit this fall, this winter, man? Man, 
You and Barry, by shit, what are you going seventy three? No, no, let me just say this. I'm I'm just trying to to follow your lead. I mean, because yeah. you, get, you got Bob Arum on, Deontay on. I mean, you got everybody on there. And mm-hmm. listen, that that was great content for me. So, oh, uh, mm-hmm. I mean, let's let's be honest. I mean, when when I was talking with Bud, I'm, I'm asking him questions about Bob Arum. I'm like, hey, Bob Arum was on Barbershop. I appreciate you saying my name. Thank you. Thank you. I, I was appreciate like, Let's you. talk about that. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, and, and and the same thing with with Deontay. So uh, for me, you know, you you give me great content, man, great content. And it, it's so funny because I think we're about, I think what like two thousand shy of ten thousand now. And I remember when I first came on, we were just trying to get like five hundred people to subscribe. You know what I mean? So you know, we we're getting there. We're getting there. If we can get to ten thousand, I think we'll be doing something. Yeah, you'll get a push over the next over the next two or three days for yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, you got you got Deontay Wilder coming up Tuesday yeah. in a video, so yeah. I'm excited because I ain't seen D in a long. I've only spoke to him on the phone a few times, so yes. I'm excited to see him. And, and let's 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 uh, I give some teasers for 